In this video, we'll look at hydrogen bonding in ethanol. This is C2H5OH. The carbons are the gray, whites are the hydrogen, red, that's our oxygen. So the reason that we have hydrogen bonding with ethanol is because it's a polar molecule. So let's look at the surface of the molecule and understand why that is. So this is the electrostatic surface of the molecule. The red, that area is more negative. The blue, that's more positive. So we know that oxygen is a more electronegative atom. So the electrons in these bonds here, they spend more time with the oxygen atom. That makes it more negative. So that red area is more negative. With the hydrogen, the electrons are gonna spend less time with this hydrogen here. So it's gonna be more positive. For the rest of the molecule, it'll be slightly more positive. It's more spread out. This hydrogen here is more compact. So we see it's more pronounced. So we know the oxygen is going to be more negative and the hydrogen, this hydrogen in particular, more positive. Let's see what that means. So in this case, I have two molecules of ethanol. Remember the oxygen's more negative, the hydrogen, this one's more positive. So if we put these two molecules together in real life, this is what would happen. You can see that that positive hydrogen right there, it's attracted to the red, that's the oxygen, which is more negative. And that green, that's a hydrogen bond. It's a fairly weak bond, but it does hold these together. Let's add another molecule of ethanol. So now we have three. Let's see what happens. And we can see the hydrogen bonds, negative to positive, positive to negative. In real life, they'll be moving around, spinning and rotating. Let's watch how that happens. So you can see they're spinning, moving around, rotating. Hydrogen bonds are breaking and forming because they're weak, but it stays together. The ethanol stays together. It's held together by the hydrogen bonds. So to recap, ethanol is a polar molecule. We have that positive by the hydrogen, the negative by the oxygen. And when two molecules come together, the positive and the negative, they can match up. And that's where we'll form that weak hydrogen bond. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.